In this example, we'll use API Wizard to perform a, an IT function um, managing user responsibilities in Oracle EBS. Uh, for those folks who have to do this on a, a regular or a periodic basis, you know that it's super tedious to um, assign responsibilities or to end date responsibilities through the Oracle forms in the system administrator module. In API Wizard, we can do that work really simple and easy. Um, what you see here is the result of an extract that was performed where um, all of the uh, res all of the responsibilities assigned to a particular user were listed. Um, you can imagine that maybe somebody is reviewing this in the organization and now they've come back with this um, with with this list of responsibilities that need to be end dated and then also a new set of responsibilities that should be assigned. So if we look at this, what we've got here um, in rows 10 through 23 are a number of responsibilities that should be end dated. And then in rows 25 through 38, we have a number of responsibilities that should be added. So let's go ahead and do that. It's really simple. Um, to end date these responsibilities, we're just gonna put in the, the end date and we'll set that to 1231 of 2016. I'll just pull that down tell Excel to copy. And so now all of those responsibilities will be end dated as of that date. Um, for the new responsibilities, um, we can either leave the date information blank. Um, the start date will default to today's date and the end date can stay null in Oracle. Um, you can have an open-ended responsibility assignment um, or we could actually put in an explicit end date if we want. Um, either way would work. Since it's so easy to do this in API Wizard, I'm gonna just put in an explicit end date. So let's start these responsibilities as of 1117 and we'll end them 123117. And then of course we can extend them um, you know, after we do our review at the end of 2017. I'm gonna just pull these down here and again, I'm going to, oh, look at that. This time it copied for me, so I don't need to do anything. Perfect. So now I've got my data prepared. All I have to do now at this point is just tell API Wizard to execute. I do that by going to the API Wizard menu, uh, second icon for, or toolbar, sorry, second icon from the left. You're about to process 28 rows in the Viz environment. I'm going to say yes. And then here we go. For the first several rows, rows you'll see that it'll say responsibility updated. Um, because we're updating that responsibility with an end date. And then in rows 25 through 28, you can see that it's saying responsibility assigned because we're creating these new responsibility assignments. Once we've finished, we have our execution summary that tells us what happened. Uh, 28 records processed, 28 successes, no errors. A super simple way to do responsibility maintenance um, across, uh, you know, in this case here, we're doing just one user at a time, but we could have all of our users in a single sheet and do all of that work all in one shot. Super simple and easy. Takes what is oftentimes a, you know, multi-day or even multi-week process for um, your system administrator or, or similar IT resources. And we can do all that same work in, a real fraction of the time in, in really just a, a, a few minutes or hours, depending on how many users you have to work with.